And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lucian Quinn to start off our ranked day today. Uh, we're going to be playing some fun decks. We're going to be starting with this one with Lucian and Quinn, two champions that aren't played a ton right now. Both of them have seen some different play in scouts with Bilgewater. But what we're going to do is we're going to be playing a deck with them with a little bit of Ionia in here. And we're going to be playing Ionia for um, basically for the quick attack for Rush. So this deck's pretty cool because it's it's all about like having like these challengers that can and these scouts that can attack twice and giving them a rush with a quick attack. So you know you have like Valor that's a quick that's a um, challenger with scout, and so then you give it rush, then you give it quick attack, and then it can challenge twice doing three damage, and that's pretty cool. It can be like a double removal spell. Works great with Genevieve Elmhart as well, and then of course you know Quinn brings along a Valor. That's kind of what this deck's about. It's about, you know, challengers with the rush, with the quick attack. Um, it's a pretty cool little deck. Now, we, we played this one about a month ago or so. We haven't really played it since Go Hard's been real popular in the metagame. And I think that this is going to be a deck that's going to probably struggle against Go Hard. Just because if you look at, like, the One Health things, right? Like Flea Feather Tracker, Inspiring Mentor, um, you know, Blinding Assault, you know, basically Valor, both times, Grizzled Ranger has One Health. So we may struggle a little bit against that, but hopefully not. Uh, but then besides that, you know, we, we do have, a you know, like the, uh, besides having the card rush, our units are pretty small and they are challengers. And so they kind of trade off and so they can, um, you know, keep trading off and then get our Lucian leveled up. And then we can attack even more times with our quick attack. So it's pretty cool. So it's like scout quick attack deck. That's what we got. All right, so let's give it a try. We're going to go play it over in a rank. We're going to go play our five games. Hopefully dodge go hard and uh, play against some other decks with a bunch of units. Okay, so last time that we played this, I remember we didn't play against go hard, but I do remember we went 4-1 with our loss being to Frostbite. Um, because, of course, if we're just trying to use like quick attack challengers, they just use a, a Frostbite spell. And that's a bummer. Alright, so we definitely don't need Ranger's Resolve. I guess I'm mulligan the Rush too, and I'm not sure if I'm supposed to just keep two four drops, but I do like Grizzled Ranger here. Yeah, this could be bad, but you know, we're gonna play it. We're gonna see see what happens. We're not gonna just give up. We're gonna do our best. That just pass. Okay, that could be interesting, because I could still spend this... It's not like I'm, I'm not wasting my two manics. I could still spend it on uh, Blinding Assault anyway. Yeah, that's pretty strong. Which I would, I would normally be, you know, be able to take stuff out. Just the, the threatening of frostbite cards and troll chants and that kind of stuff. Not going to make this easy. Who gets and Keto. Yeah, this is not going to be great. <laughs> over here. Alright, so we'll have Genevieve next turn. And gotta hope they have no Frostbite cards in their deck. That's fine. 
Hoping for no frostbite cards in the deck. These woods belong to us. Here we go. I'm not sure what the odds are of no frostbite card, but it has to be flash freeze, right? They don't have the mana for harsh winds. Genevieve with quick attack is pretty awesome. You can see the the power here of of Genevieve plus Rush. Uh, darn. Well, it was good for a little bit. <laughs> we tried. Troll Champ basically, a, uh, you know, a, a flash freeze. I mean, I guess it's even worse than a flash freeze because it was a it was a flash freeze that kept there and Rage Yeti alive also. It is me! Sure, that's fair. Making the dead deader. It's okay, Smith. Yeah, we played the the seasonal. Uh, went three and two. Got the card back. And that's game, of course. I can block the five and the four, but we take nine. Okay, cool. Not mid-range frostbite. I will take my chances. This, you know, they have like a, a lot of smaller units. This could be one where, you know, a quick attack with like a with like a valor could be really cool. Um, I like all three, like, I like all four of these cards. These are all four good cards. The problem is, is, you know, nothing, you know, like, we're looking at nothing on turn two, three, four. So I guess I need to mulligan Jenny. There we go. That's a good card. Night flowers upon my blade. That works pretty well. No more hiding. Cool, got another rush. So I definitely want to have rush for whenever we play Quinn. So they may get a free kill, like with a Diana, right? But we're basically building our own Diana with Fleet Feather Tracker. Tested MC. I was hoping they were going to play Pale Cascade. That's what I was really hoping. I wanted to give them that opportunity to play Pale Cascade. They play it, not draw a card, and then, and then I play the, the Rush, and that would have been pretty awesome. Lunari, rise. Nothing gets between me and my mark. All right, Quinn. Go get him. I'm not sure if I should just play this other Quinn as a blinding assault. Maybe. Oh, the box. Okay. That's pretty good. I was hoping they were gonna, you know, use like a, a one mana or you know, like use a one damage spell like an unspeak after playing the box. I was hoping they were gonna play like an unspeakable That's horror to just, play. you know, then just kill the Quinn and um, allow me to. Scouting ahead. No, I shouldn't trade Sharp Sight for a one one. That's not a good trade. 
allow me to play just play the new Quinn, because then I'll get you know Quinn and Valor anyway. We will be free. There we go. Alright, so that's the second attack for Quinn. Alright, not great. I guess I should have challenged them the other way. But maybe they would have just used Black Spear on Quinn. I've got a weird list, right? Like... They're playing Nocturne Diana, but they have the box and Black Spear and Star Shaping. It's like a control deck. Not expecting that. Dang. Well, if I knew that, that this was the kind of stuff that they would have had, I, I would have, and especially if I knew we were going to get you know, all three of those quick attacks. I guess I, I should have used the quick attack on the Protégé a long time ago to kill that Nocturne and kept Protégé around, because then Protégé would have would have been awesome at, you know, being the 2-4 of cleaning up these little things. That's my biggest regret this game. This is just a much, you know, just a much different deck than I was expecting whenever I made that decision on turn four. I wasn't expecting him to have all this, you know, interaction and and everything. I wasn't expecting the box, Vengeance, Hush. I just thought, you know, I thought there would be just a, a Nightfall aggro deck. That is not the case. Alright, let's mess some folks up. I also I also regret casting the blinding assault. I regret that as well. Um, the Quinn's, cha Quinn's Champion spell, which would have just kept another Quinn. Sure. So it's like, because both Nocturne and Diana, whenever like you have the Nightfall part of them, they can both basically be removal spells. Like they're like little Sejuani's kind of thing. And so this is this is just an interesting take though. Like this is an interesting deck of playing, you know, like a Nocturne Diana control deck of just using both of those champions as removal. I don't know why I'm not attacking with. Little Ranger. Now they see who I truly am. You'll thank me later. Black Magic with that resub. Y'all get some hype in the chat. Where are my hype boats at? There we go. Thank you, Black Magic. Thanks for that resub. Seconds of the day. GG's. 
I plan to get some Field of Rush. Scout is good against Field of Rush because, you know, getting multiple attacks in one turn definitely going to be good. Uh, we don't really need Rush, though, as much against our opponent. Uh, hmm. We do need units to be attacking. Alright, looks like we got turn 3 Senna for our first thing. We are a Lucian deck. We haven't seen Lucian yet. Use Ranger's Resolve. I'll keep Sharp Sight to maybe get through a Trundle. Purity and peace. Lucian? Okay, I'll take a tracker. Strength and grace, beauty in the play. So hopefully they don't have any more of those. That's it. Demacian needs heroes. Our strength is yours. Hmm. My gun does the talking. Think about just making this attack, they take four. Go to nine. I, you know, I, I would trade Quinn for Hearth Guard. No. No, I don't make that trade. Not with these other cards. We will take Demacia. Not the first time I've heard that. I've got your back. Thank you, Bright Seal Protector. For having Quinn's back. I appreciate it. Onward. All right, Genevieve. I'll defend these boys to the end. We will defend them to the end. This looks pretty good right now. We'll see what they have. Many tribes under one banner. All right, GGs. That'll do. Great. Now let's get back out there. To you know, got to get through a couple of avalanches there. Ooh. This is going to be a race. Then with all the overwhelm. Yeah, that was a good game there. All right, we're going to keep one Quinn, not two. I'll keep Lucian. I'll keep Sharp Sights. Oh, I love this start. I love Inspiring Mentor turning Lucian into a 4-2. This is, you know, pretty exciting of the... Turn two attacking with a four two Lucian. It's pretty cool. Yeah, we saw the Victor reveal. Victor looks really cool. There's really cool design and everything. Just, to, um, yeah, I don't know exactly how strong it will be, but definitely really cool. Don't get in my way. Go get him, Lucian. Two. Wow. Well, I guess I guess Troll Chance still kills Lucian. Man, Troll Chance been destroying us. <laughs> That's how we lost the game too. I'm gonna make that attack though, 100 percent of the time. It's just, you know, didn't work out. But I'm, I'm definitely always gonna make that attack. Some 
I could have used the sharp sight to to kill that grenadier, but you know it's just a grenadier. We're not in the worst spot. Well, I guess right now, but I don't know. They just that was a really good ramp into into like the six mana where they could have their two champions, but not looking like they're playing either champion, so that's cool. We Demacians are no easy trip. Smell that barg fear. Yeah, they're gonna have a lot of mana. Jenny. Oh. I wanted to play Lucian Brightsteel Protector this turn. Uh yeah, I still do that over playing Jenny, right? Well maybe not. I'll defend these boys to the end. We will defend them to the end. Poor Genevieve not being a 5-5 anymore. Alright, that's not that big a deal. I still just have the 3-2 to challenge that thing. But it kept him alive, I guess. This would have been 11. Quinn's underrated. You know, we've seen these last couple of games. Quinn can, um... Quinn can finish some games. No one's the wiser. Yeah, Victor's level up does look really cool. That is a really cool animation. In position. Boom. Rainbow Wiz! Getting that resub. Hey, you did it perfectly. Thank you so much. That puts me down to two. Two is not dead yet. Alright, GG's. So we, you know, I had to think of like if I wanted to play something before attacking or not. The um, playing something before attacking would mean that we would lose to decimate. So I guess I would probably just have to go straight to attacks. Oh no, the go hard deck. Ew. All right, we'll see how this matchup is. I'm guessing not so good, having not played it yet. I'm guessing not so good. Okay, I kind of like all this stuff. So basically what my plan here is, my plan is to play Inspiring Mentor as Go Hard Bait and you know, like have them uh, try to bait out a Go Hard. They kill my Inspiring Mentor. And um, and then my Blinding Assault can attack and kill multiple things. We play in bilge rules, son. That's what I was thinking. Hopefully they don't kill my little Valor. Give us some room. You started without me. Ooh, got rid of a vengeance. Alright, well we we can protect Valor with sharp sight. 
Oh man, they're playing Vile Feast in their Go Hard deck also. Yuck. Maybe I'd just trade with the 3 3 right now and not really worry about the rush. Because I, you know, of course I have. You know, rush still works great with all, all of these cards. And basically I'd be using the rush to kill a 1 2 or a 1 1. Isn't the best. How did that move go? Never lost a fair game. Soak it in. Um, I would still say in an aggressive. So the question is, an aggressive deck is a one-two or a two-one better in today's meta? I I think that still a, a two-one is going to be better in in an aggressive deck, even with go hard. Just. There's a huge difference between dealing two damage and dealing one damage. If, if you have something that only attacks for one, if, if you're not pumping it up either, and it's just attacking for one turn after turn after turn, um, Don't get in my way. you know, it's it's not going to be good enough. You're not going to be able to kill anything. You're you're going to want to be... You're going you're gonna to need a two, two power thing if you're going to be an aggressive deck. Nothing like the stink of blood and sweat. Go with the flow. Yep, that two two power does twice as much damage. I, I guess Grizzled Ranger is just going to trade. With the one one, I mean that that just helps out my Lucian. Uh. Yeah. So we just we just hit the worst possible because not only they're a go hard deck, but they're a go hard deck with vile feast. Like it's just that's just not fair <laughs> when when you know compared to like what. When you're uh, looking at what we're playing here, that's just not fair. You poor thing. All right, so we have we have two really bad matchups with this deck: Go Hard and Midrange Frostbite. So there's two really bad matchups. We did face those two when O2 there went two one against the other decks. And our other loss was the. A uh, deck that fooled me pretty good. My strength is yours. So I don't want a one damage thing just to kill Lucian. Yeah, I could see this being Twisted Fate red card for how they made that block on the on the Badger Bear. I could definitely see that being Twisted Fate red card. Like a fish in water. <laughs> Through the coral. Let's do this. Oh, I, so I need I need to attack challenge first, right? I was you know planning on doing my Quinn and all that kind of stuff, but if but yeah, they're just gonna kill Lucian now. Deal me in. Yeah, that's just a red card. Something for all. I had to challenge with the Genevieve first. We Demacians are no easy prey. Attention, Ranger Knight present. Right. I don't know why I just kind of yeah, you know, like that was just a. A lapse in judgment. These woods belong to us. I don't change yeah, this is over now. I, I maybe had a chance with the leveled up Lucian. Oh, this is over now. Scouting ahead. Yeah, 
This is just over. Defeated. Not broken. Okay, so yeah, like our, our I think our deck is better than what it showed, but we are gonna have just like that, you know, two tough matchups there with, with the frostbite and with the go hard. Um, you know that that's why I don't play this deck a ton. But it, it is really cool and can, you know can can do some really cool stuff there with the the rush and quick attack. Um, I do like it a lot against the ramp decks, and we saw that matchup look pretty good. Um, you know, even you know fought through a couple of avalanches and everything. Just being able to attack multiple times against um, against the ramp deck is always a good idea. And then you know being able to have like a, a Genevieve rush kind of thing to be able to take down Trundle. And Sejuani and that kind of card, those kind of cards, that's always good too. So yeah, so there, there we go. So that's a, a cool little, cool little deck here with Lucian Quinn. Um, you know, not necessarily the best deck or anything, and it does have two of two decks that are really popular. It's going to be weak against, but you can still, it's unique, and you can do some really cool things, and it is fun to play, and you get to play some quick games. All right, so that's that's what we got for our first deck here. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Lucian Quinn, and I'll see you for the next video.